welcome to my channel my name is as real as it gets and today i will be talking to you all about gang stalking in my lucid dreams now i've spoken about gang stalking i'll go ahead and um link my playlist of the down the rabbit hole so you can jump down the rabbit hole and see what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, I'm not going to go over what is gang stalking. I'm going to assume you already know what that is. If you don't, definitely check out my playlist so that you can, you know, learn what gang stalking is and my experiences with them. Now, when it comes to gang stalking and lucid dreams, I have noticed that I am being followed in my lucid dream i know this sounds so crazy and and i know some of you are probably watching this and be like you're paranoid <laughs> but i'm not i know i'm not i'm going to tell you three lucid dreams that i've had and what about them that makes me believe like i'm literally being followed in my dreams not not just in real life which i am i'm also being watched in real life but also in my dreams let me see the I'm sorry I have notes and I I don't want to forget anything I'm but anyways first dream that I had um for some odd reason whenever I lucid dream a lot of my lucid dreams I'm in a school I don't know what I'm there for I've tried exploring this school and every time I go to explore the school something crazy happens and I wake up First of all, if you don't know what a lucid dream, a lucid dream is when you wake up inside of your dream. Like you literally know that you're dreaming, you're able to control what, um, whatever you want in your dream, you're able to do whatever you want in your dream. All right, so now that we got that out of the way. So I become lucid inside of this schoolhouse and I'm like, okay, here I am again. Let me go walk around the halls and go find the office just so I can see, like, what is this school? What are y'all teaching? So I go downstairs to go to the school's office. And once I go downstairs, I see the office, but it immediately changed. The environment changed into a basement. Now, mind you, I had this dream either right before the pandemic or during the pandemic. I can't remember. But once I was in this basement, I noticed three ladies sitting at the top of the basement. And then they put a lady who looks like a witch holding a bat. Now, I don't know if y'all remember before the pandemic was what it was with the coronavirus. It was rumors that someone ate a bat out in China. And that's why we have the coronavirus. So... When I when I dreamed that, I, I thought immediately, okay, this has to do... Okay, it had to happen during COVID. Like, right at the peak. Right at the... Like, right when things started going crazy. Because I remember waking up and was like, what the fuck? Did that have something to do with COVID? But anyways, they put this witch on the wall with a bat. And in my dream, I'm like, is that COVID? What the fuck? And right then and there, I was like, oh, shit, I got to get out of this dream. I got to get out of this dream. And immediately, my consciousness flew out of my body into the corner of the room. And then, like, I don't want to, like, say this and um, trigger anyone, but I made myself unalive to get out of that dream. Yeah, I know that sounds so fucked up and crazy. I don't know why I did that. But I just felt like I had to get out of that dream by any means necessary. I could have pinched myself probably, but no, I made myself on the line. But I feel like I was being watched because of those ladies at the top of the basement and how they put that witch down there. Like, yeah, I'm being watched. My second dream was when I was at my grandma's house. And I became lucid. I woke up in my dream. I was like, oh, I'm dreaming. If I'm, and then I told myself, like, am I, if I'm dreaming, I should be able to change this matter into gold. So I easily took off a piece of the wall and I held it in my hand and I tried to turn it into another piece of matter. And right in that moment of me trying to do that, I noticed someone was behind, behind me watching me. 
And once I seen that, I got so spooked, I woke up. Like, what the fuck? Excuse me for my cursing. But for real, like, what the hell? And the third dream I had was, at first, it was a regular dream. I was in a, I wasn't in the lake. But I was at the lake and I was walking across water and I had someone else with me and they tried to walk across the water. They got across, but they ended up almost drowning. So I had to get them out of the lake. And while that was happening, I became lucid and I was like, oh, snap. I remember I told you all on YouTube that I wanted to tell people in my lucid dream that the if I wanted to ask them if they knew they were in my dream just to see what response they would give like would they say like duh or would they be like no this is my dream or no you're awake you know I always wanted to know what the reply would be every time I fucking ask that question excuse my language every time I ask that question something crazy always happens I never got my answer yet <laughs> but anyway so I told this person I was like don't you know you're in my dream and right in that moment, it's like everything froze. And then I noticed there was a crowd of people in a circle just looking at us and whispering to themselves. And in that moment, I seen like a storm brewing and that's when I woke up. Yeah, those are my lucid dreams. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless about it. I mean, I have to say seven times out of 10 that I've lucid dreamed thus far, someone has been following me, watching me. It's so weird. I'm at the point in my life now though, like I, I know for a fact I'm protected by the creator of all. If I don't worry, I don't stress, I feel free. It's just that, you know, I'm at the point of my life where it's kind of, I'm not going to say being gang stalk is a joke, but I just find it funny. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's very interesting and, and intriguing. Uh, yeah. For those that are being gang stalk, I have to say, be strong out there. Prayer works, you know. But anyways, I'm going to keep this video short, sweet, and simple. If you have any experiences of your own with gang stalking, please comment down below. I would love to know your experiences. If you had experiences within lucid dreaming and gang stalking, comment down below. Even without the gang stalking, if you have a if you had a lucid dream, I would love to know about that. I'm I'm very um curious is not the word that I'm looking for. But I'm very intrigued by your experiences when it comes to things like this. All right. Well, I will catch you on the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.